what's up YouTube? It's your girl Sunset and Waves coming at you once again on the YT. And um, it's about that time. It's product review time. So um, I'm going to be discussing some products today. And the first product that I'm going to be discussing was actually a gift from 76 Naturalista. Hey girl, when she visited me, if you haven't checked out that video of me and her, um, doing the this or that tag, please check it out. I truly had a blast hanging with her and it really brightened up my spirits. And, you know, a lot of times when a fellow naturalista comes to visit you, they come bearing gifts. And those gifts usually are products, hair products. And um, 76 naturalista, she's so attentive that... um. She saw me leave a comment on a fellow YouTuber's channel um, stating that, oh, I wanted to try shampoo bar out. So when she came to visit me um, a couple of weeks ago, that's what she decided to bring me. And I was so ecstatic and so happy that she brought it because I've never used a shampoo bar. So let me show the bar that she gave. The bar that she gave me was the Yanobi silky shea and clay shampoo bar so that's the packaging right there and um this bar has great ingredients a lot of essential oils um i'm going to just run through some of the ingredients it has shea butter of course it has jojoba oil castor oil it has um rasul clay coconut oil, palm oil. Um, it has fragrance of sweet orange and basil, sage, and mint. Okay, so it has a plethora of great oils in here. And um, it's all natural. And yeah, so this is this is it. I'm good. This is the packaging. I'm going to open up the bar and show you the bar so the bar came in plastic wrap like this I did use it so that I could do the review of course so I cut off a sliver of the bar now this bar as you can already see is extremely thick okay this bar is big in dimension okay um so this is the sliver that I cut off of the bar so it was about that size maybe a little bigger of course because I used it it melted away some but I cut this off thinking that I would need this whole section and um, I obviously did not so the smell is very good okay but in regards to the size I just want to say that these bars will should last you a long time like I think that this could actually last me a year believe it or not so the smell of the bar is very therapeutic I would say it's that aromatic therapy type of scent okay so it's something that's taking you to like the spa you know what I'm saying like a scent that if you envision the, the spa you envision certain scents and this scent definitely brings me to the spa so I was eager to um Try it just based off the scent alone. Now, I must say, when I started washing my hair with this, it was therapeutic for me. It was relaxing. I had said, oh, man, I wish I had some music playing in the bathroom because it was that kind of thing. Like, it was just like a relaxing moment for me. And I felt, wow, like my senses were, my senses were heightened. And the relaxation just <laughs> took over me. Plus, it's a shampoo bar. So for somebody who always uses liquid shampoo, it kind of was exotic for me in a sense. It was something different. So I was very um, pleased with the scent and the feeling that I got from the scent. Um, and it radiated the whole bathroom. Like this little piece, I smelled it throughout the whole bathroom. But I liked it. It was very calming to the point that I said, man... You know, I just love this scent so much that I wish that I would, could wash my body with it. And I plan on doing so because <laughs> I figured this. It's all natural oils. You've already heard the ingredients that I've listed off. 
You know, it's clay. There's so much toxic things probably in this, this the body wash that I'm already using. That using this as a body wash real quick one time won't hurt because I just need to feel it on my skin. I have to, I feel like I want my skin to smell like this. I want to feel that radiant feeling that I got from washing my hair with it on my body. So um, next time I use it on my hair, I'm definitely going to um, cut a piece off and use it on my body. Now, I'm not going to wash my girl with it. No, she's, you she cannot... <laughs> No, okay. Um, I'm gonna stick to my summer's eve for that section of my body, and I probably won't wash my face with it. I'm gonna stick to what is it, Cetaphil? That's what I use on my face. I mean, this and this don't get washed with the same soap that I wash my body with. Understand me, but what I'm saying is it was just that kind of feeling, okay. And for me, who, you know, you guys know I've been in transition in my life right now. I recently moved to Virginia. I'm looking for a job. I needed this Wusa moment and this soap gave it to me. So I look forward to it for that. Now, um, what else do I want to say? Well, let me hold the bigger bar just in case people, I don't know, tune in late or something. They think that this is the bar, it's the size. All right. Um, what else? Um, do I have to say about this now? I would like to say that going on when it lathered, okay, it was a good lather. So somebody who likes that lathering feeling, this shampoo bar definitely um, gives you that lather feeling. Okay, so that off the um, jump was a plus for me because I'm used to a lather and I prefer a lather. So that's the plus so when it was lathering in the midst of that my hair felt very moisturized it felt like smooth it smelled it felt very good in the lathering um, process however um, I don't wash my hair traditionally I don't wash my hair in sections I may deep condition in sections but when it comes to the washing the shampooing process I usually don't um, wash my hair in sections. However, um, on the instructions here for this shampoo bar, it says make sure your hair is fully saturated. I did that. It was saturated with water. And rub the bar down the length of your hair. I, and it says in parentheses, preferably in sections. So that was something that I should have done um, because, you know, I'm still... Uh, my my year anniversary is in July, so I'm a few months over a year now, but I'm still in that big chop mode where I think that, oh, you can just wash your hair like you did when you had the big chop. And if you have a big chop, of course, you don't have to um, section off your hair in order to wash it with the shampoo bar. However, if you're starting to obtain some length, you know, um, the, the odds of things getting tangled becomes more. And I don't really recognize my length. If you um, see my videos, a lot of times I don't really speak on my length. Um, but when I washed it with this, I did. Because this is getting your hair thoroughly cleaned. I don't know if it's because of the clay or what have you. But I felt like, wow, my hair is becoming clean. And um, <laughs> I don't want to use the term stripped. But I felt like I was one step away from that. So once I washed it, it was kind of like I was washing my hair and it felt so moisturizing during the lather. But once it was time to rinse, I envisioned like as if somebody just took my hair and went like that and it was just like all in knots. So I was like, okay, now you better get that conditioner on there. And I was like wishing I had, you know, like when you're like, man, I should have grabbed this particular conditioner. But I had the Tresemme Naturals. Um, in there, which offers good slip too, and I put a crap load of that in my hair and then started to um, detangle with that um, after I rinsed it out some because I did um, reach a point of concern. But I want to say this shampoo let me know that shampoos can offer a great lather. The smell is excellent, okay? Your hair gets clean. I definitely felt like my hair was free of anything, any product builds up, anything that I had. My scalp and my hair was completely naked after using this. I definitely feel that way. However, I do 
feel that this should be something that's only used, I want to say, once a month. For me and my hair journey, sorry, my allergies are kicking up. But for me and my hair journey, I feel that this is only sufficient for me once a month. To use this like every week would be overkill because I definitely feel that, um, like I said, it rids everything. And I don't feel that I would need that type of cleanse, cl cleaning of my hair um, every week. So I definitely think that this is going to be um, something that I use once a month. And when I use it once a month, I definitely plan on using it on my body as well. But I'm going to use it on my body probably uh, tomorrow because <laughs> I just like the feeling and the woosah moment it gave me. And hopefully I don't break out. But if I do, I'll definitely post a video on my experience with using the shampoo bar <laughs> on my body. So maybe I'll just do that video anyway. But um, that's it. So... No, you cannot detangle with this shampoo bar. Don't try it. Do not try it. But it will clean your hair. Your hair will feel clean. The smell is awesome. The size is humongous. So you probably, depending on your hair length and who you are, I can't see you needing more than one of these things for the whole year. Okay? It may last longer than a year. Like, I kind of feel like it might last longer than a year. Um, they do suggest that you cut off a piece and use that piece to maintain, um, you know, the um, shampoo bar longer because, you know, it melts and stuff. And if you're not using this whole bar, there's no need to um, saturate this whole bar and have some of it melting off. So Marquita83 um, mentions putting it in the refrigerator. I'm going to probably do that um, because, you know, the majority of the ingredients are natural. But yes, um, so I would say... You know, on a scale from one to one to five, okay, I would say um, five being the highest, one being the lowest. I would say I give the shampoo bar a three because, you know, the smell was good, but it's not something that I can use that often. Um, but, you know, it was it was good. Like, I'm not saying I'm not like heavy now on shampoo bars. And I'm not against them. So I'm, you know, pretty much in a, you know, in the three spot. You know, sometimes it's three. Okay? So I would say it's a three. Like, I'm not against it. I'm not extremely for it. But this shampoo bar does smell good. I love the way that um, it lathered on my hair. And my hair did have shine after using this shampoo bar. So I definitely say if you're somebody who's interested in using shampoo bars, please give the Yanobi um, Silky Shea Butter Shea and Clay Shampoo Bar Try. And you can find this at Yanobi's um, Shop.com. That's Y N O B E Shop S H O P dot com. Okay, so I'll definitely post that um, website in the description bar. Okay. So, it's your girl, Sunset and Waves. I hope that was a thorough review for you on the shampoo bar, and bar experience. Go get you one. Um, they might not always be available because I think they're high in demand from this um, shop. So, I think that if it's not available, because I think I've tried to buy. Yeah, I have. I went on this website one time and tried to buy one, but they didn't have it available. So, I didn't see any um, on there. So... You know, definitely check it out. Even if you don't see it available now, I'm sure that she'll be making another batch and it will be available um, in a timely fashion. Okay, your girl, Sunset and Waves. Peace out.